With Pokemon Legends ZA coming out and the hype of Mega Evolution returning, I set out to catch every single shiny Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. And let me tell you, no, stop. Stop. What if I told you that I've been not in this for two weeks? I didn't save after the torch chicken. I lost the place again. <sighs> Still not me too. Why'd I do this video? Why'd I do this video? It took way longer than I thought. I just thought it was way too easy. Like, that game was not hard. Oh, whoa! Did y'all see that? Hey, big cat! What? Our first shiny of this challenge is an alpha? Now for this challenge, I decided to hunt in a whole bunch of different Pokemon games, including some unique ones like Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Go, and even Pokemon Leaf Green to shiny hunt for Mewtwo, which to this day was the hardest hunt I have ever done. But finding a shiny alpha Pokemon right off the bat was an insane confidence booster. But that technically wasn't the first shiny of the challenge. Back in February, PM7 hosted a shiny Johto event with me and so many amazing creators where we all worked together to try and catch all 100 shiny Johto Pokemon in just 24 hours. And I was tasked with starting this event hunting for two very specific bugs. This will be, this will be good. This will be what we do until both of those are caught. And then I honestly, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. Let me, whoa, that was 11 seconds. Let's go. Wait, no, don't say that. Yeah, bang. It's just that easy. It's just that easy, chat. Thought it was a shiny as well, but at the double take, it was, whoa, yes. Yes! Wait, wait, wait. We need a better clip than that. <clears throat> Whoa, dude. We got it. Whoa. That was way worse. <laughs> After catching both shiny bugs and my third ever shiny alpha Pokemon, I was feeling pretty confident that catching the other shiny megas wouldn't be too difficult. And for the early parts of this challenge, I was right. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Cotton candy, cotton candy, Fabio has cotton candy. PC! Oh, PC, you summoned the shiny! You, you son of a nutcracker! Wait, is that it? Yo! Holy crap! Let's go! That was so quick! I'm Team Numo. What's up, Neo? How you doing? Welcome on in, gamer. Appreciate it. Maybe you can summon a little, a little fire type lad. Hey, thanks for uh, spawning the fire type lad. Let's go! Team Puppy! You guys all knew that. Okay, so I'm the crazy one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I just wanted to make sure. Yes! Oh, you stupid son of a nutcracker! Oh my gosh, yes! Oh my gosh, you took forever! Now, if you're a shiny hunter, you know that shiny luck, well, it can give and it can take. <laughs> Enter the first of many agonizing hunts in this challenge, Onyx. Oh, chat, it's time chat. We have Onyx with a star. Come on, game. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, there are a lot of ways to increase your chances of finding a shiny. Specifically, there's the shiny charm, which is a charm that raises your overall odds of finding a shiny, massive mass outbreaks, where a whole bunch of the same Pokemon just spawn in a certain area, and dex perfection, which is you just doing a bunch of tasks to do research on a Pokemon. Once you do all the tasks, that specific Pokemon's shiny odds increase. All of these combined has my chances of finding Onyx at about 1 and 128. It did not feel like that. One of you be gold, please! This doesn't look good, chat. This doesn't look good. I'm so sad about that, man. Come on. Just end me. Thank you. It's tough out here, man. After about a week without Onyx, wow. yes, literally a week, I decided to put that hunt on hold and go for some easier shiny hunts. Now, I think that the Pokemon company felt bad for me and Onyx because of this next stream, we went crazy. Hey, there it is. Yes, look at him. He's so cute. <gasps> He's just by the fire trying to get warm. Rude, I'm so, yes. There we go. All right, that's actually some crazy luck, but please be male. Yeah. Wow, our, luck, our luck's kind of going crazy, actually. I don't know why, you guys. This is kind of crazy. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, that was so quick. Hey, chat, we got four. Oh, we're so back. Oh, we are so back. Hey, and speaking of, we got it. Let's go. With 13 Mega Pokemon down, including one that we definitely didn't fail earlier, the list of 48 Mega Pokemon was starting to look a little less intimidating. We still have the legendaries, which let's just say took me to my breaking point. Should I shift the hue? Do a little hue shift thing? Okay, here we go. Hold on. Whoa, chat! Yo, whoa, dude! Whoa! 
Oi, cha, oi, da, da. But still, 13's a good start. And now it's time to shake things up a little bit and go for our first egg hunt in Sword and Shield. By giving the breeder a foreign ditto and then our target Pokemon, which is in this case, Absol, we are able to periodically get Absol eggs that have a one in 512 chance of becoming shiny with the shiny charm. And now I'm not gonna lie, my egg luck has been crazy in Sword and Shield. We've gotten Dratini in 24 eggs, Beldum in 99, Fletchling in 45, Delibird in 69, frick yeah, and Chinchou in eight. So I was hoping this one wouldn't be too bad. If you hear me out, if you look at the politics of- Oh my God, oh my God, I'm sorry to oh interrupt God. you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. You stupid, stupid dog. You know what the most infuriating thing was is that I literally already had a shiny Absol. Like I, I got in Dynamax Adventures years ago. I just I just forgot, but I have to, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm sure you heard another voice in the background of that clip. While hunting for Absol, I was in a Discord call with one of my buddies and he ended up bringing me the shiny luck. And weirdly enough, this trend of me finding shinies while in Discord calls it continued a lot. <gasps> no way! Let's, Let's go. go! Let's go! Oh my gosh, that was so much quicker than Absol. I'm actually being so serious. Like, watch this. Oh, Vindy. oh my gosh! Vindy! Yeah! I didn't even see it! <laughs> my suggestion will definitely be you. Oh my gosh! Let's go! Nice. Yo! Let's go! Yeah! Crazy. Let's go! It felt really good to add another three shinies to our collection, especially considering they were some of the ones I was most worried about, which is a good and a bad thing. Because if you paid attention, I found all of those Pokemon under odds. Egg hunting is one in 512 odds. I got Otto at 81. And random encounters in Sword and Shield are a one in 1,365 odds. And I found Aeron and Sharpedo in a combined 880. But like I said, Shiny Luck gives, and Shiny Luck takes. Oh my gosh, we have an Onyx opportunity. We have an Onyx opportunity. Please, for the love of God, be shiny, you stupid snake. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. It's actually unreal how unlucky I'm getting in this game. I caught Sharpedo and Aeron before I caught Onyx. Yeah, so it's been nine days now on that hunt. I will not let that rock snake keep me down, but I did need a little bit of a confidence boost again. So I decided to go back to Scarlet and Violet and hunt all of the remaining shiny starters that we need, including Charmander, who's a bit unique. We were like, we don't know if we're going to renew. We don't know if we're able to renew. We don't know how much the price is going to go up if renew. There's the shiny. Let's mother freaking go! Now back to my story. Sorry, video. I don't know why this triggered this story. I had a black widow web down my ceiling. Hey! Are you a fan of Black Widow? Oh, you have a crush on Scarlett Johansson, don't you, Shiny Ball by Zor? Dang, that's that's far then. Yeah! There we go. Finally, man. That took a while. That actually that took a full sandwich and then like another minute. Yeah, there's our second one! Let's go! There we go, we're done now. Come on, Squirtle. Come on, you silly. Wait, is that it? Yeah, we got it! Let's go! With all the starters caught, including two Charmander for Charizard X and Y, thank you for the favoritism, Game Freak, we are now up to 22 Mega Shiny Pokemon. And at this point, I once again went to try and find Onix, but instead found a ton of Legends Arceus Shinies that we still needed. Why is there a Kadabra here? Yay! Yes! Oh my gosh, finally! We got it! Let's go! Oh my gosh, finally. Okay. Yeah! Let's go! Wait, where is he? There's the shiny! Yeah! Gengar down! Best shiny ever. Fight me. Don't don't actually fight me, please. Yes! Yeah! Plopany, come here! Stay! Yay! It's not an onyx, but we got it. Is yeah! We got one! Let's go! We got a Snover! Yeah! With four more Megas added to our list, we are now over halfway done with all the shiny Mega Pokemon that we need. Yes, we still have the legendaries and some incredibly difficult hunts, but being over halfway done felt good. And with our Legends Arceus luck slowly returning, I knew finding the shiny Onyx was now or never. I did a stream titled, This Stream Doesn't End Until I Find This Shiny Pokemon. And after about five grueling hours of searching, it finally happened. Who didn't get the... Oh my god! It's here! We did it! Oh my god! It's over! F 
Finding the Shiny Onyx felt like a massive weight lifted off of my shoulders. We found so many other Shiny Pokemon in the span of trying to find Onyx, including a ton that were a much lower odds of appearing. But finding the Shiny Rock Snake snowballed a lot of other Shiny Megas in the next few days, including one that gave us quite the scare. I just got, um... I just got Sableye. So I just got Sableye, chat. We just, okay, I just got the Sableye. Hey. Hello. Let's go. Party Dave Wire caught W. 12 seconds later. Are you kidding me? No, I need, I don't need you. I'm running away because there's only seven minutes left. I think we can do this for seven minutes. Or we just get it now. <laughs> I don't want to phase on a wireless. Now that I said those words out loud, it's it's just gonna happen. Hey, uh, chat. Never mind. Hey, chat. Hey, chatters. Never mind. We're good. Come on, Baynet. The sun's coming up. This is oh, cool. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. Let's go. All right. Yeah, that was good. No, stop. Stop. No, 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 no. Stop, please. Okay. Okay. It can't do it again. Let's go. And the shiny is ours. With these five Pokemon caught, we only have one more shiny to get in Pokemon Legends Arceus or Scarlet and Violet. And it is one of the most iconic shiny Pokemon in the world. Now, I was going to hunt Gyarados and Heart Gold just because it's a guaranteed encounter in the Lake of Rage. But my chat said that it would be easier to find it in Scarlet and Violet, which begged the question, what will happen first? Me finding it in Heart Gold or me finding it in Scarlet and Violet? Now, look, I know that Scarlet and Violet have higher shiny odds and it's easier to find shiny Pokemon and stuff like that. But the fact that Heart Gold has a guaranteed 100% shiny and it's really not that hard to get to the Lake of Rage, I genuinely feel. What? What's that? I already found. I already found it. And Scarlet and Violet's right behind me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No. Okay. That, that checks out. Okay. Hey, buddy. That was so quick. It's like the lowest level it can be, but I don't care. Fish. With Shiny Gyarados captured after a super close shiny race, I decided to clean up some of the shinies that we still needed in Sword and Shield. Oh! Yo, no way! Holy cow! That was actually so quick! Wait, is that it? Let's go! Yes! Definitely a few more eggs that I wanted to hatch for this guy, but yes! Oh, it's been so long. And just like that, we have every shiny mega Pokemon caught in Scarlet and Violet, Legends Arceus, and Sword and Shield. But the fact that we got most of these shinies under odds, except for you, Onyx, I had a sinking feeling in my stomach that the rest of these shinies would be very hard to find. And wow, was I right. Now, while Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee aren't the most conventional Pokemon games, the shiny hunting method is one of my favorites. So what you do is you catch Pokemon. That's it. The more Pokemon that you catch, the higher your chain goes. And after getting a chain of 31 of the same Pokemon caught in a row, the odds of the next Pokemon appearing shiny increases. So chain catching can be a pretty fun way to shiny hunt until your chain starts to take forever. But eventually we did find a couple of our targets. If I had to bet, oh my gosh, no way! Let's go! KC 2408 tricked you. No, you didn't! <laughs> you didn't trick me! Let's go! Let me be sad. I've been doing this for forever. Getting the chain took me so long. I'm tired of looking at this guy's face. I just want the shiny. Yeah! Let's go! The do it worked! Pidgey and Kangaskhan did end up taking a very, very, very long time. But thankfully, Shiny Weedle compensated for that. Hey! Yes! Yeah! We got the Weedle! Let's go, Weedle! Now hold the mother freaking phone. <laughs> now hold, hold the phone. Content for the video. <laughs> now I have no idea what the odds are of finding a full odd shiny right after catching a chain shiny, but it was still pretty cool. I mean, we have had some crazy luck in this challenge. And like I said, shiny luck gives, shiny luck takes. And time for it to take again. Enter. Aerodactyl. Now, I know I could have hunted this Pokemon in like the Masuna method or encounters in Sword and Shield, but I thought that resurrecting fossils would be more fun. Now, normally you can only have one fossil per playthrough, but thanks to the John Stone skip, shout out John Stone, you can actually get as many as you want. By going to a very specific spot in Cerulea Cave, once a day you can pick up one of the three fossils. But the John Stone skip allows you to bypass this. By starting a local trade in the game and then changing the date of your switch while you're looking for a trade, you actually bypass Let's Go's internal clock 
clock type of thing, and it actually thinks it's the next day. You can then pick up another fossil. You can repeat this process to get the fossil scientist pretty much as many fossils as you want. And after a few days, I gathered 55 old ambers and got to hunting. I ended up buying a turbo controller and just had it go to work over and over while I did other things like shiny hunt other Pokemon in the challenge, play Poke Rogue, or just watch anime. And finally, after about 55 fossil resurrections, it happened. I got it. I got the shiny. I got the shiny. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> finally. Yes. Oh my gosh. Now I know 5,500 resets seems like a lot, but because it was the turbo controller and I was able to do other things while hunting, it really wasn't that bad. But I also never want to do that again. But with every shiny completed in Let's Go Eevee, we only have two more non-legendary shinies to go and in two different games. Let's start with Salamence. Now I was going to shiny hunt Salamence in Scarlet and Violet because I figured it would be the easiest, but there just so happened to be a community event for Bagon and Pokemon Go. So I decided to go outside, touch some green stuff and find the shiny in like four checks. Shout out, Pogo. Now change the avatars back. Our final non-legendary Pokemon on this challenge is Pinsir. It felt wrong leaving Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl out of this challenge. So I decided to suck it up and do my least favorite shiny hunting method, Poke Radar. In BDSB, radar hunting is a little complicated to explain, but the only thing you need to know is that you can do everything right and you can still fail. But after many anxiety inducing moments, we got it. Now, let's go! There it is, chat! Yes! Let's go! All right, so every non-legendary shiny mega has been caught. We've had some crazy lucky moments and some not so lucky ones. But these legendary hunts, these legendary hunts broke me. But let me address the elephant in the room first, Diancie. Now, as of recording this video, there is no legal way of getting shiny Diancie. But according to Pokemon lore, the very forgetful Pokemon Carbink can potentially become a Diancie. So, yay! Let's go! Oh my gosh, it looks so good. There we go, we got it! Let's go, stay in the ball. Shiny Diancie, oh my god. All right, one legendary down. Not bad. Maybe the rest won't be as bad as I thought. And Latios! It's fine, it's ever fine. I mean, that was our first one. Of the, there's no way we get out of the first one of the day. At least some people get shinies on like Vandy. I just sent you a motivational photo. Are you? That is so mean. <laughs> I'm tweeting that out. <laughs> I'm on well. Now, I've had some rough hunts in the past. I mean, Giratina took me over 500 Dynamax Adventures and I barely phased. I've still yet to find Shiny Raikou even months after the PM7 Shiny Johto event. And even for this video, it took me countless Dynamax Adventures to try and find Latios. And it never showed up. But little did I know, all it took was a change of Shiny Hunting method and one of the worst headaches of my life. Oh my gosh, I was muted that whole entire time. I was muted that whole entire time. I don't care. We got it. Oh my God. Oh, I hate that I'm not, I, I'm literally in the dark. I have a massive headache. I'm not feeling well. Get in my stupid master ball. I don't care. I'm not risking, I am not risking anything. Oh my gosh. One left. With Shiny Latios found and captured, we're 50% done with the Eon duo. And what some new reviewers on this channel may not know is that Shiny Latios was actually my very first Shiny Legendary Pokemon ever. And how we got it was pretty incredible. You're never gonna play in these, I'm gonna have to do anything. Guys, get some Adam hype in the freaking chat. <laughs> To this day, that is one of my favorite Shiner reactions ever, and I'm so glad I get to show all of you in this video. But enough celebration because we still have two massive shiny hunts left. Mewtwo and Rayquaza. Now, back in August of 2013, I did a subathon for my birthday, and one of the goals was that I shiny hunt Mewtwo in Fire Red or Leaf Green. We hit that goal almost immediately. And fast forward to February of 2024, that hunt started. Each soft reset slowly but surely crushed me mentally. I mean, so many things happened in the world between me starting this hunt and me finally finishing it. A meteor literally flew over the earth. The creator of Dragon Ball tragically passed away. There were not one, but two PM7 shiny events. Taylor Swift dropped an album within an album, call that albumception. Timothy Sh 
Shalom, we went from selling gobstoppers to stopping bad guys. The world's biggest power couple formed along with the shirtless wonder. Cody Rhodes finished his story. I mean, it's insane all that happened in between me starting and finishing this hunt. And there were a lot of times where I wanted just to give up and throw in the towel. But all of my friends kept on telling me it was gonna be so sweet when I finally find it. And they were right. Their mouse, their like wireless mouth was arguably the worst mouse I've... Oh my God! Ah! Oh my... Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah! Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! It like it doesn't look real to me. I really wish Evil Jenkins were here, but homie donate a hundred dollars and we gotta name it Sandy. It's lonely. I bet you were. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. After 27,502 resets later, Shiny Mewtwo is ours, and we have finally caught every single Shiny Mega- What? Oh, Rayquaza, right. So in Pokemon Unite, which is pretty much a League of Legends style Pokemon game, they did an event where Shiny Rayquaza would spawn in the middle of the map. So me and my Sid Little Blastoise waddled to the middle area, used Water Spout, KO the Rayquaza, AKA securing or capturing it. So I caught Shiny Rayquaza in Pokemon Unite. Anyway, subscribe.